Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, good afternoon. This is Dr. Shahzad. Today we will learn about the different stages of famine. As we already discussed about food security and its uh, main components in previous lectures, today we will discuss about uh, some important topics related to food security and uh, most of the definitions that have been uh, defined by different uh, UN and international organizations. We will discuss about these definitions as well. So, as we discussed about global food security, which was uh, based on uh, 10 challenges. The first food security challenge is rising population. The second one was rising incomes and changing diets. Here in this slide, we will discuss about falling water tables. It is also one of the main food security problems that in India, some 190 million people are being fed with rain with grain produced by over pumping groundwater for china the number is 130 million and uh, aquifer depletion now threatens harvest and the big three grain producers china india and united states that together produce half of the world's grain. The question is not whether water shortages will affect future harvest in these countries, but rather when they will do so. So, dear students, from this slide you can understand about 190 million people are being fed with grain produced by over pumping groundwater. For China, you know about that 130 million. Uh, is also one of the threats for the harvest and the grain producers are facing uh, great challenges. So all these things are due to climate change. The climate change effects may impact different regions and it, it, it can also impact or it can affect <coughs> sustainable agriculture production <coughs> and in every region is especially in south asian countries uh, especially in india where the water ground table is <coughs> going down again and again in nigeria 27 percent of the fem families experience food list days in india it is 24 percent and peru 14 percent the world is in transition from an era dominated by surpluses to one defined by scarcity. Not eating at all on some days is how the world's poorest are coping with <coughs> the doubling of world grain prices since 2006. But even as we face new constraints, on future production, the world population is growing by 80 million people each year. So this is uh, challenge number four, more foodless days in Nigeria, 27% of families experiencing foodless days and in India, 24%. In Peru, it is 14%. As in South Asia, we have the same culture, same norms and values, the same population almost uh, dependent on uh, more than 65% uh, of the population in South Asia is in rural area and they are dependent on agricultural productivity. So here in Pakistan we have the same situation. <laughs> Number fifth challenge is slowing irrigation. Water supply is now the principal constraint on efforts to expand world food production. During the last half of the 20th century, the world's irrigated area expect, expanded 
from some 250 million acres in 1952 to roughly 700 million in 2000. So this near tripling of the world irrigation within 50 years was historically unique. Since then the growth in irrigation has come to a near standstill expanding only 10 percent between 2000 to 2010 so again world food production is also uh, there is water supply the you can say that the constraints uh, and the expanding of water supply can also um, uh, affect the slowing of irrigation for the uh, crops and for the agriculture productivity increasing soil erosion so as uh, the climate change has been and its peak and uh, there are thousands of uh, areas in the world where there are soil erosions on daily basis nearly a third of the world's cropland is losing topsoil faster than new soil is forming. This reduces the land's inherent fertility. Future food production is also threatened by soil erosion. The thin layer of the topsoil that covers the earth's land surface was formed over long stretches of geological time as new soil formation exceeded the natural rate of erosion sometime within the last century the situation was reversed as soil erosion began to exceed new soil formation now nearly a third of the world's cropland is now losing topsoil faster than the new soil is forming soil that was formed on geological time scale is being lost on human time scale peak soil is now history so again we have soil erosion problem in the in the region and this is this is also due to climate change problems and you know that increasing soil erosion can also be dangerous for agricultural productivity the next time uh, uh, slide is uh, based on climate change the generation of farmers now on the land is the first to face man-made climate change agriculture as it exists today developed over 11,000 years of rather remarkable climate stability it has evolved to maximize production within that climate system now certainly the climate is changing with each passing year, the agricultural system is more and more out of sync with the climate system. So, again, I would say that the climate change has great impact on agriculture productivity. In the next slide, we will discuss about melting water reserves and how these water reserves affect the rivers and how these basins affect the agriculture productivity and we will discuss it in the next slides thank you for watching